Well, it's been some time since we've last done any sort of venture. I learned everything online. And I've got a bit of a surprise for everyone. Well, I suppose it's kind of a surprise we've been on for about an entire bloody month now. Either way, uh, let me go set the buckets down and we're going to feed someone special. Which you'll find out why I haven't been online at all. At least one of the main reasons, but we'll get into all the other gubbins later. And, as you can tell, it has been raining far, far too much. But, starting things off, hopefully we've all been doing right decent. Lord knows, I've been incredibly busy on my end. So hopefully everyone else is doing get along just fine. Oh, forgive me, back's a bit knackered today too. Now, let's focus the camera. That is what we've been dealing with for the past three weeks. His name is Samson. And yes, it's incredibly helpful because the other one's name is Samson. And not only do they sound the same, they are spelled the exact same way. By the way, I'm going to feed him. Come on. Come on, boy. Now, Samson, at least this black one, his name was actually decided from some time ago, so that wasn't just my decision to name them by Samson. I've been empty, but not that much of an empty. And old Samson, a new one, actually, you know, for a bit of clarity, we do call the one on the right Sammy, and the one on the left Samson. Now, uh, Samson is a Tennessee walker, and one of the main reasons he's been taking up most of me days is because that boy has a little bit of a bumpy past. Mostly because, unfortunately, being a Tennessee walker, they could never show him, and if you know anything about people that invest a lot of money in Tennessee walkers, uh, sometimes the trainers uh, can not exactly be the kindest of lot trying to get the horses to perform properly at show, and it definitely goes to show that he was mistreated, not least of which because he's got scarring on him. I don't want everyone to think oh, that's common. It's thankfully not, especially since that's fairly regulated nowadays. But just to say, uh, try to do a little bit of rehabilitation with old Samson here. Eh? Not that I'm a rehabilitist. I actually don't know what the proper term for that is. Uh, but I do fancy myself a bit of a equine behavioralist. Speaking of which, this numpty just dumped his bucket around here. Not that you give a toss. But anyway, right. just going out of your way to, well, get him back to where he can walk around normally, socialize with people normally. Uh, but having a bit of scarring on his face, uh, you can imagine he's a fair bit head shy. So I plan on working with that, thankfully. Coming to a new property, he's used to us already, as you can tell. He's out back, and he's getting along with me just well enough. But well, that could be because I sit out here for him probably longer than I should on a daily basis. But the main reason we did get him wasn't so we could rehabilitate him. But it's to give Sammy company. Because Sammy, as some of you may know, lost his uh, head mate which I had to bury out here, and I'll admit I was a bit, uh, not exactly chuff for a while. But anyway, right, neither was Sam E, because he was running back and forth, lathering himself up, and probably would have suffered from heat stroke, because this is Florida, and a horse running ad nauseum along the fence line, but a hundred degree weather is not exactly conducive to them. At the very least, not passing out. So, 
someone grunted a Sam something, so he would have heard mate and calmed down. And thankfully, they are both getting along very well. Because Samson will run right along stride Sammy, which is kind of interesting because I don't think this one's had any burn mates it's where they've been allowed to be in the same paddock. Well, as you can imagine, this has been taking up a good portion of my days, not least of which the first week after Doc passed away, the one we buried, um, I was just out here spending as much time as I possibly could with Sammy, because he would not walk any more than probably a few feet away from me before he would start whinnying and running around like a jackass. Well, I say that, but he was just a bit forlorn, so I can't exactly help that. And being the bloke I am, I couldn't just sit idle by and let him go on his day. But yeah. That's the main reason why we haven't been on at all for the last three weeks. Now I'm going to go sit down. Because my legs are doing some funny things, which as you've noticed, I'm probably shaking the camera everywhere. I say, Sam. Because the other reason we haven't been on is because for some reason, three weeks ago... Three weeks or two weeks? I lost track of time. Doesn't matter when. I woke up one morning and couldn't talk. Um, also couldn't move the lower half of my body and my left side. And we don't know if that was maybe a pinched nerve, maybe neurological governs cropping up again. I don't know. And then our talking thing could just very well be a progression of the laryngeal paralysis. But who knows? Thankfully, as you can tell, we're up and talking again, so that's great. Uh, certainly wasn't fun the morning I woke up and suddenly couldn't... bone do anything. It was really weird. But either way, uh, between the horses and that very odd governs, uh, yeah, it's been rather interesting these past three weeks, but that said though, I do hope to get back to streaming, and coincidentally Mom's Done the Stories 2 comes out really soon, so we'll probably be streaming that, and we could sit back, relax, um, should have some time to myself actually, because the birthday's coming up soon, funny enough, just in time for this hurricane, because as you can maybe see in the background we've got a ton of clouds and it has been very windy so hopefully that's not an accurate in the mic on this recording even if it does i'll try and edit it out and post or something either way just a bit of recap for everyone uh doing right now um most of the oddities seem to be gone though no we don't need to talk about that I'll leave that for some other time. Yeah, things to be kind of back in order of sorts. At any rate, you'll have a lovely rest of your day. Do have a splendid 4th of July, because depending on when I put this up, that's probably going to be right close to 4th of July. And I look forward to catching you on the next one. And the next one, Lord knows I'm going to do another one of these videos, especially if we do get this hurricane. Because we have gotten about a foot of rain in the past week, and this hurricane is going to bring even more, as you can imagine. Let's see if we can say hi to Samson. Nope. Oh, I forgot he hates cameras. Because he's never seen one before? Oh no. He just wanted to go. You know, Sammy's bucket. Well, you know what? You're a bit skiddy anyway, so put on the pounds, you'll be fine. Granted, it's safe and light, so it's not going to make a difference. And the wind's picking up to about 20 miles an hour again, so that's about a good time to call it. Hey, right. Like I said, you all do take care, lads and lasses alike. I do love seeing this, though. These two get eaten along, right as rain. Warms the heart. But yeah, two looks for now, lads and lasses. 
Catch on next one.